Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Get a lot of comments on our room forums and people that have existing treatment in their rooms. And one of the major comments we get all the time is my room is too dead. So let's back up from that statement and look at the reasons behind that and see if we can figure it out. Usually when someone is saying the room is too dead, that means the reverberation time is too low. They don't have a good balance in the room between reflections and direct energy inside the room, okay? Why has this happened? Well, they're using the wrong technology type and they're using the wrong rate and level of absorption. Those are the two main issues here that we have. Most of these comments come from people that use products that are filled with building insulation because we know that building insulation does not have the right rate and level of absorption for music and voice. We've, we've said that for years and people still continue to use it and we still continue to get these comments. So it's kind of like this dog chasing its tail kind of situation. So the type, the amount, and where you put it in the room is critical to balancing the, the amount of reflections in the room so that you get a balance between, remember, the direct energy from the speakers and the reflected energy from the room. It's not that difficult to understand, okay? There's a balance between reflections and direct energy. 97, uh, like we said before, most of these people use building insulation, you know, as, as the sound absorption technology. It was never designed for that. And therefore, these are the results you get. My room is too dead. Well. It's too dead because you're using something that was never designed to treat reverberation, okay? The usage has been perverted. It's got the wrong rate and level for music and voice. Music and voice require special rates and levels of absorption. It's just the way it is. I think there's a multiplicity of reasons for that. One, we're very easily recognized tonal changes in voice because it's the format, if you will, that we use to communicate within. We're very sensitive to, you know, changes in amplitude or strength of our voice, like, hey, or hey. You know, there's different tonal variations and we're very susceptible to that. So music and voice fall into that category. You need a linearity in response. You have to. There can't be any peaks or valleys in the response curve. Why would you treat a situation in a room with a response curve like that with treatment that has peaks and dips? No, you wouldn't. You, you'd treat it with a treatment that's linear. You wouldn't want to add to the problem. And this is what goes on here. My room is too dead. Well, you're using the wrong treatment type that has the wrong rate level of absorption for music and voice. Look at our foam curves. Here's a graph that you can see, and you can go on our website in the About section of us. Scroll about halfway down and you'll see the, the foam curve. Look at the 125 to 500 region. Look at the competition. Big difference. And see, and this is why you get this. You got irregular spatial uh, problems in, in the frequency response curve, and you're using that irregular spatial response to treat an irregular spatial response in the room. It's not gonna work, okay? so. You need to have that smooth 125 to 500 roots or hertz uh, region taken care of, and that's what our foam does. If you use the right rate level of absorption, your room will never be too dead. Even if you put too much treatment in it, it'll still balance out. Now, there's issues with that also, but we'll, we'll discuss that in another video. So you wanna ma manage the resident frequency with the foam, and we can do that. See, we can increase the strength or the lower frequency that the foam starts working at. Our standard two inch variety starts at 125. You might need to go a little bit lower depending on your room size, volume, and usage. So then you can increase the thickness. If we increase the thickness to four inches, we can start at 100 hertz. See, and that's the benefit of a technology that's very linear. Then we go six inches. We can get down and start with a 90. 
And then, you know, up to 6,300, which is the top limit of the foam. And why is 6,300 the top limit? Because this is the frequency range mix engineers work in. Doesn't it make sense, just from a common sensibility, to use a technology that works in the frequency range in which your music is mixed and played in? Okay? So you want to use a technology that's working in the area and the frequency range that you are and that you're listening and more importantly that the source of your music was created within my room is too dead the reason for this is you're using the wrong rate and level of absorption and stay away from building insulation because it will not give you that proper rate and level of absorption hope this helps thank you Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.